Let's just get to the video. Suicide Squad, written by David Ayer and directed and produced by David Ayer as well, and it's a steaming pile of excrement. I am warning you right now, if you are a fan of this film, chances are you are probably not going to like this review, so you can probably just hit the dislike button right now and you can probably leave this channel. Uh, I personally didn't like it. I really didn't like this. And let me preface this by saying, yes, I am a Marvel fan. However, I don't go into these movies thinking, oh my god, it'd be great if this movie failed. That is not, I want to see a good movie. I want to see a good movie. But DC, get your stuff together. So the film centers around these characters that are recruited by this woman called Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller is a hard stone cold lady that does not mess around and it's played very well by Viola Davis. Now, Amanda Waller is a character in this movie that I love. I think she absolutely killed it. She is the standout performance in this, and by far the strongest performance in this film. Amanda Waller then goes to Bellevue Prison and recruits all of these different villains and psychopaths into this Task Force X group in the hopes that, hey, they won't disobey me, because if they do disobey me, then I'll pop their head off. Some of the things that I liked. Amanda Waller, inspired casting choice. Viola Davis absolutely crushed it. She is the wall. She is Amanda Waller. Could not have agreed more with that casting choice. She was fantastic in it. And you believe why she is a cold-hearted bitch. You believe that, honestly. She killed it. I loved it. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, again. I think she did great. I thought she was a standout performance in the film and I thought she was one of the stronger characters in it. I really enjoyed it and I did feel for Harley in certain parts of the film and I think that for the most part she captured the lunacy that you have to have in order to be with the Joker. I thought that was a wonderful standout performance in it. Deadshot. I really love this character in the film. I thought he was wonderfully portrayed by Will Smith. I think they added a lot of depth with him, especially his relationship with his daughter. In fact, they should have really just called this movie Deadshot and Friends because he really was the focal point and the center of the majority of this film, including the beginning of the film where you spent about 15-20 minutes just on his origin alone, which I thought worked well for me. Now for the bad. DC. Let's have a heart to heart. Just right here, you know, Let's, let's bring it in a little bit. You had it. You have the blueprint how to make this work. Not only that, we have seen this work through other films, through Marvel, through countless of, through Dirty Does. You have it. Hell, you made Assault on Arkham years ago, and it was awesome. All you had to do was do a live action adaptation of it. What happened? Enchantress was definitely the most weakest part of the film because, let's face it, if you didn't have the Suicide Squad, you wouldn't have Enchantress. There wouldn't be a problem, so in a way, the Suicide Squad ends up shooting itself in the foot by causing its own problem. So not only is Enchantress pop-locking her way throughout the end of this film, she also apparently is turning everybody into the Putty Men from the Power Rangers. <laughs> bad timing i think jared leto's joker is going to be something that's going to be a little bit mixed by fans where you're going to have fans that are going to say yeah i really like it and then you're going to have fans that say no i really don't i'm on the fan side of i don't i think for the most part i need more time to process it and i need a bigger film to see what he can do because we really only get him in spurts in here for about 10 5 minutes at the most throughout this whole film and he just shows up really without any context yes throughout the film he is saying yeah i'm gonna rescue harley just be ready but he just pops in and out of nowhere and i understand what they were trying to go for there where they try to make him kind of as this chaotic storm that just messes things up or makes things better for the suicide spot but for the most part it's just random crap and it just does not work with me it really doesn't i really don't understand why the filmmakers in this just didn't make the joker the main villain of this it would have worked out so much better if you had the assault on arkham script and you just made the joker the main antagonist 
Overall, I really wanted to like this, but with all the editing problems, the character motivations are all over the place, the script issues, I am gonna have to give this one a pass. I really did not like this film. And I went in there with such high expectations, thinking, man, you know what, forget the critics. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be a real good film. <sighs> Just wasn't. But hey, uh, if this is your first time checking out my channel, let me know what you thought of the film down below in the comments section. Comment, subscribe. I love to hear back from you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you can, donate to my PayPal right there, and you're gonna find that in the description below. Love you.